Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the next video. Hope you're all doing great today and we begin in the new story. The fifth well. So let's begin. The ranks of the bad line moved closer together for it was cold, cold. There were alluvial deposits, alluvial, alluvial deposit of the stream of life lodged in the delta of fifth avenue and broadway the bedliners stamped their freezing feet freezing feet looked at the empty benches in madison square where jack frost had awakened awakened them and muttered muttered to one another in a confusion of tongues. The flatron building was its impious 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 clod pierce piercing architecture looming mistily looming mystery above them on the opposite delta might well have stood for the tower of babel whence these polyglot idlers have been called by the wing winged walking delegate of the lord standing on the pine box a head higher than his flock on Gods, the preacher exhorted, exhorted, whatever transient and shifting audience the north wind went dulled, dulled out, dulled out to him. It was a slave market. Fifteen cents bought you a man. You deeded him to Morpheus, and the recording angel gave you credit. The preacher was incredibly earnest and unwearied. He had looked over the list of things one may do for one's fellow man and had assumed for himself the task of putting to bed all who might apply at his soul box on the nights on Wednesday of Wednesday and Sunday. That left but five nights for other philanthropists, philanthropists, philanthropists to handle. And had they done their part as well, this wrecked city, wrecked city might have become an was a West Arcadian dormitory, 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 where all may snooze and snore the heavy hours away, letting problem place and the rent man and business go the deuce, deuce. The hour of eight was but a little while past sightseers sightseers in a small dark mass of fey ore were gathered in the shadow of general worth monument now and then shyly austin they ostentatiously ostentatiously carelessly or with consensus 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 exactness all right consensus exactness 
one word step forward and bestow upon the preacher small bills or silver. Then a lieutenant of Scandinavian coloring and enthusiasm would march away to lodging house with a squad of the redeemed. Redeemed. All the while the preacher exhorted the crowd in terms beautifully devoid, devoid of eloquence devoid of eloquence devoid of elo eloquence splendid splendid with deadly accuser monotony of the truth before the picture of the band liners fades you must hear one phrase of the preachers the one that formed his theme that night it is worthy of being san stanceled 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 on all the white ribbons in the world no man ever ever learned to be a drunkard on five cent whiskey think of it tippler tippler it covers the ground from the sprouting rye to the potter's field. A queen prof profiled erect yeoman in the rear rank of the badless emulated the therapy. Therapy. Drowning, drawing his head far down into the shell of his coat collar. It was well cut tweed coat, tweed. And the trousers still showed signs of having flattened themselves beneath this comp compelling goose. But conscientiously, conscientiously, I must warn the millionaires, millionaires apprentice, millionaires apprentice, who reads this, expecting a Regan, Reginald Montresor in straits to peruse. Perus. No further. The young man was no other than Thomas McQuaid, ex coachman, discharged for drunk drunkenness one month before and now reduced to the grimy ranks of the one night bed seekers. If you live in a in smaller New York, you must know that one Smythe family carriage drawn by two by the two thousand five hundred pound hundred to one shot base. The carriage is shaped like a bath tube. In each end of it reclines an old lady one smithy holding a black sunshade the size of new year new year's eve feather tick tickler tickler before his downfall thomas mcquiet drew his one smoothie smile smithy base and was himself dri driven by envy. The one smooth, smooth, smoothy, smithy, smithy lady's mind. But it is one of the saddest things about romance that a tight shoe or an empty commissary or an 
hatching too will make a temporary heretic of any Cupid worshipper. And Thomas' physical troubles were not few. Before, his soul was less waxed, waxed with thoughts of his lost lady's maid than it was by the fancied presence of certain non-existent -exist things that he racked, racked nerves a month and winced him were flying, dancing, crawling and wriggling on the asphalt and in the air above and around the the small campus the small campus of the bad line army nearly nearly four weeks of straight whiskey and diet limited to crack crackers bologna and pickles often guarantees a psycho zoological squeal sequel sequel this desperate freezing angry beset 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 by phantoms as he was he felt the need of human sympathy and intercourse the bedliner standing at his right was a young man of about his own age shabby but neat was the diagnosis of your case freddy asked thomas with the free freemasonic familiarity of the damned Uzi, that's mine you don't look like a fun panhandler panhandler is it the guy for handling a pan no panhandler neither i am neither am i sorry a month ago i was pushing the lines over the backs of the finest team of Percheron Buffaloes that ever made their way down Fifth Avenue in 285. And look at me now. Say, how do you come to be at this bad bargain counter rummage sale? Rummage. The other young man seemed to welcome the advances of the airy ex-coachman no said he mine isn't exactly a case of drink unless we allow 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 that cupid is a bar bartender i married unwisely according to the opinion of my unforgiving relatives i've been out for work for for a year because I don't know how to work and I've been sick in the work Bellevue and other hospitals for months my wife and kid had to go back to her mother I was turned out to the hospital yesterday and I have an ascent that's my tale of woe W O E Whoa 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 Tough luck said Thomas a man alone can pull through all right but I hate to see the women and kids get the worst of it just then they're hummed hummed up hummed up and up fifth avenue a motor car so splendid so red so smoothly running 
so craftily demolishing the speed regulations that it drew the attention ever e even of the li least with bad liners suspender and pinioned pinny wand pinioned pinioned pinny wand pinion on its left side was an extra tire when opposite the unfortunate company the fastenings of this tire became loose. It fell to the asphalt, bounded and rolled rapidly in the wake of the flying car. Okay guys, thank you for listening to me today and see you tomorrow on the next video. Bye.